Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to service now 911 in the series of HRST. Today we are at video number 6 and today we discuss the importance and how to create an HR profile. Before that, if you have not watched these videos in sequence, please do so because once you are able to go through it, then only you will be able to get maximum from this series. In our last video, we discussed how to create an HR admin user and going forward, we are using only this HR admin user to do the transactions. Why I am saying that? Why I am not using a general IT admin profile or admin profile? Uh, that you will understand once you watch this video. We cannot impersonate to HR admin. Why? Again, you can see in this video. Okay. So let's go to my instance. Right now I am logged in as a test HR admin. Okay. So now I will go to HR profile. You see this is HR profile. Let me open HR profile and one more thing HR users or you can say only users. So this is a user table. Let me open Able Tutor. So you see this is the basic profile of Able Tutor. You know what is a user profile, right? And at the bottom you see a related link which is create an HR human resource profile. So this is what we call HR profile. So what is an HR profile? Let me open this table. This is a separate table as an HR profile. Okay, so let me open one of the record. So if you compare these two things, Able Tutors and this user, okay, you will see there is much more information in this HR profile. In Able Tutor, the maximum level we can go is with mobile number in terms of privacy, right? Rest all things are very corporate level, very business level. But in HR profile, you will see most of the confidential information like your date of birth, your marital status, your nationality, your gender, okay, your employment detail, your package detail, your basic contact information, your home address, everything is there. And at the bottom, you see the beneficiary. It means the insurance stuff, who is covered again, insurance stuff, your emergency contacts, your direct reports, all the cases which you have created till now all the leave of absence which you are having in the system okay and your job history accordingly as per your organization you can add more details but hr profiles is something which is used by hr for future purposes but as these things are very much sensitive in nature that's why this hr profile capability is limited to hr team only okay so uh, mostly hr admin will be able to see it will be able to modify it and create it Nobody apart from HR team will be able to see HR profiles, okay? Not even the system administrator. He is also barred from seeing all these things until unless the role is being assigned to him or her, okay? So if you see, there are total 602 HR profiles right now as well as we have the user as 688. It means right now we do not have HR profiles for all the users, okay? So depending on situation, the HRs may create a new HR profile. So how to create a new HR profile? You see at the bottom of each and every user profile, you have this link. Again, this link is very security driven. It will be visible only to the HR admin. So click on it. <clears throat> as soon as we click on it, HR profile is created for this user. Okay. You can fill up all the details and update this HR profile for Able Tutor. In case being a HR, you want to create more than one HR profile right at the time being. Okay, for that, you have generate HR profiles option. So here you have to provide the conditions. Okay, and then based on condition, click on create profile. Right now, there are 85 records or 80 file profiles which are not created. So it is comparing it with the list of users from user table. So right now, there are 85 users who has no HR profile. So based on our condition, let me create some. Let's say department is HR. So there are eight users. You see there are eight users, okay, whose profiles are yet to be created. Okay, so now click on create profiles. It will run a job as simple as that and it will create the profile. You see all eight profiles are created. So these are the people who are you can say new to HR department and their HR profile are now created. Okay. So this is all about HR profiles. So what is HR profile? Why it is secure? Why it is important? All these things you have got it now, I guess. 
I will see you in next video where we will discuss something else with respect to HRST. Till then, thank you so much and subscribe to the channel. Bye-bye.